Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is a picture of a, the landing on Monhegan Island, people coming off the boat, walking up this hill up to the island inn and so forth. So sketch it out, take your time. And uh, that is the island in the background, which is Manana. And that's just the gray violet color of rocks. And now we're into the water. There's no horizon here. So, you know, we're we're painting the reflection of the island in the water and i just mixed up a dark color ultramarine with quinciana and then i added some cobalt blue to it and you can see i ran some uh, raw sienna along the top of it to reflect some of the island now i'm just bringing those two shapes together while they're dry so all right here's the uh painting the roof on one of the buildings and it's just the beautiful brownish tone in a violet tone on the side here. This is cobalt blue and a touch of rose. And you can add a touch of that raw sienna if you want to gray it down a little bit. All right, this is the road. So I'm going to paint the whole, uh, the whole road side here. And this is another, I, I painted it a violet, same this is a Rossi, I'm sorry, it's cobalt blue with a touch of rose in it. And you can add a drop of uh, raw sienna if you want to, to gray that down. And this is the crazy uh, grasses. Uh, you know, there's a very bright sun on it. So some of that yellow is, uh, do yourself a favor, paint the whole thing green. I wish I did. Anyway, uh, here's the windows. And now I'm painting the, uh, the rocks on the island, in between the rocks. If you look closely at the photo, you can see all those cracks and crevices on the rocks. So I'm painting that first, and then I'm going to add the grass on top. So all of this is coming down, reflecting in the water. Just go all the way across with it. You can see it in the photo there. All right. Uh, I'm, there's a dock over there. I didn't put that in. All right, so this is just raw sienna, a little cobalt blue. And, it's, you know, it's just the grass coming down the mountain, coming down the hill there on the island. And you can leave some, leave some rocks on top. And now I'm going back with a little bit of shadow color on the rocks that bring that value down. Okay. And you can see that uh, reflection in the water. That's raw sienna. All right, just go on, going into the people here. This is the fun part. I'm, I'm doing their faces with a little bit of quinciana. It's a nice rich color. And now I added some cobalt blue to that and, and made a nice gray out of it, which is what they're wearing here. Uh, mother, father, a couple of kids. Beautiful little family coming up the hill. All right. They got gray tops on, jeans. I love this little girl. She's just so adorable. <laughs> All right, and uh, this daddy in the background wearing a black jacket, a pair of jeans. This is good exercise for you, you know, getting some people in your painting. So that's the first blush. I'm going to go back on with them, but I wanted to get their, their shapes in there. So dropping a few people in the background way in the back there. Yep. All right, there's a, I just painted the shape of that building on the right with uh, just the violet color, ultramarine, a little bit of rose, a little bit of raw sienna, gray it down. Now their roof, their roofs are uh, a deep blue. So that's just raw sienna with a touch of quinciana. I'm sorry, it's cobalt blue with a touch of quinciana. All right, so I'm going back here, finishing up the people. Take your time with that, because this is what the painting's all about, these people coming up the hill, and it's a wonderful chance for you to uh, practice your people, putting figures in your, in your painting. It's really a great thing to do.
makes your painting so much more interesting. And this is particularly interesting because they're coming up a hill, which is really, uh, really interesting because they're in front of you here. They're so big. And then the perspective of going down the hill is, is just really interesting. All right. So here's the shadow. There's a shadow across the land, shadow across here where the building is. And then there's an open space. And then there's a, another shadow up here in front of you. Okay, the sun is beating down, uh, casting a shadow of the people. Let me just bring that right across. All right, I'm going back and, oh, you know, I, I saw this space and I thought it, it would look much better to put a lobster boat in there. There's plenty of lobster boats in the harbor. So I just painted a boat with water, uh, no color, and then wiped it, wiped it off. And so you have the shape there. And I'm going to go back now and put some uh, highlight on that. So there's a highlight on the boat. That's all you need, you know, you don't need to paint. It's in shadow, so you don't need to paint the whole boat white or anything like that, but just a nice, nice clean shadow uh, highlight on it. It's perfect. You know, you might want to touch the reflection there and put some windows in it. So you can see it comes right to life and it adds quite a bit because now you know you know, that that's a harbor and there's boats in there. You can put several boats if you want to. Just makes it a little more interesting. All right, there's a bunch of junk here on the dock itself. And uh, there's a, a piling. So I'm just popping those in. There's a couple of more figures over here. Adding those figures. All right, so it's pretty much done. Okay. All right, there's the there's the finished painting. You can see I put a little pickup truck down there. And thank you so much for uh, watching and joining me, and I will see you again very soon.